<laughs> Sunsets, no one understands it. I mean, yeah. Anyway, start going. Go on. Uh, well, how does material, how do, how do, I guess I have a very, very limited understanding on the science here. Sure. But how can nothing, or in, in the way you're defining this, produce actual material, mass objects of Earths and, and planets and stuff like that? You know what I mean? It, it, well, it's a subtle idea that, in fact, uh, the point is that, yeah, virtual particles and antiparticles are popping in and out of existence all the time, but they have to disappear because they violate the if they were if you could measure them they'd violate what's called the conservation of energy if you have nothing and then you have particles you appear to violate the conservation of energy the great thing about gravity is when you include gravity into the in, into the works you can have positive energy and negative energy gravitational potential energy if you wish is negative and and the en reason for that is that if i have an object out at infinity Actually, it's uh, Carl Sagan here. And, uh, oh, wow. Anyway, <laughs> if, I have, if I have an object out of, at infinity at rest, it's reasonable to say it has zero energy, right? But then if it falls towards a planet, it loses energy, right? It loses potential energy as it falls towards a planet, and therefore its energy, its gravitational energy here is less than it was there, and if it was zero there, it's, it's negative here. And once you allow for negative energy as well as positive energy, then you see you could actually create a system where you create two particles, say, particle-antiparticle pair, and yeah, their rest mass has energy, but there's a gravitational attraction, so the potential energy, the gravitational attraction is so negative that it overcomes the positive energy of the mass, and the total system has zero total energy. Mm. And then it can it come in, then it, those, those particles can persist, they can exist in real life because they, they're, they're popping into existence doesn't violate any rules of conservation of energy. And so literally the vacuum can burp particles eventually if there's, if there's sufficient, say, gravitational forces. And that happens near a black hole, for example. Particles, antiparticle pairs pop out in, into existence near the source of a black hole and the antiparticle can fall in, say, and, and lose enough energy that the particle can be radiated. And that's what we call Hawking radiation and black holes radiate. Um, and so uh, the point is because of, because of, of the negative energy that's allowed by gravity, you can create, it, it's, it's like a friend of mine, uh, an eminent physicist named Alan Guth once said, it's sort of the ultimate free lunch. Because <laughs> of the fact that gravity can involve not just negative energy, but also negative pressure, you can have a phenomenon which was first described by Guth, it's called inflation, where you can have a small universe inflate and become very large and dump a lot, at the end of that, dump a lot of energy into space. And all of that is, is due to the, negative energy negative pressure of expanding space and he called it the ultimate free lunch because apparently you start with almost nothing and you end up with a universe with lots of energy and that idea was very influential to me when i talked when i when i was talking about the whole universe creating from nothing it's it's really just that gravity adds a new complexity to the mix and allows for phenomena which are not which are not intuitive in any sense because we don't see, you know, the all all objects that we see, mass ha, it, ha, is it gravitationally attractive. It's got positive energy. We're used to gravity always pulling, you know, and never pushing, um, and uh, uh, sucking and never blowing, depending on how you want to think of it. And um, and but it turns out once you allow for general relativity, exotic configurations of mass and energy can exist that have strange properties and change all the rules. And that's just the way it is in physics.